Isaac Newton sat under the shade of a large apple tree, taking a break from his studies. The summer air was warm, and he enjoyed the gentle rustling of leaves above him. He was known for his insatiable curiosity and intelligence, deeply engrossed in thoughts about the natural world. Since childhood, he had always been fascinated by the mysteries of the universe, often pondering questions that others took for granted. As he sat in quiet contemplation, an apple suddenly fell from the tree and struck him on the head. Startled, Newton picked up the apple and stared at it, a sense of wonder filling his mind. While most people would have dismissed this as a minor inconvenience, Newton's mind began to race. Why had the apple fallen straight down and not sideways or upward? What force had caused it to descend so predictably? Newton's thoughts swirled around the idea of a force pulling objects toward the earth. He reasoned that if the apple was attracted to the ground, then surely every object must experience a similar pull. Could it be the same force that kept the moon orbiting the earth and the planets in their orbits around the sun? He began to formulate the concept of gravity, the unseen force that attracts objects toward one another. This idea wasn't entirely new. Ancient scholars had their theories about attraction. However, Newton's approach was different. He envisioned a universal force, one that could be mathematically described and applied to both terrestrial and celestial bodies. This simple, yet profound moment under the apple tree sparked a journey that would eventually lead to his formulation of the laws of motion and universal gravitation. Newton's work in this area laid the foundation for classical mechanics and transformed our understanding of the physical world. The falling apple became a symbol of human curiosity and the power of scientific inquiry, illustrating how a moment of reflection can lead to discoveries that change the course of history.